this is one of the coolest ideas you could use to create a beautiful ad for your product. Let me show you how to create this. Start by creating a mobile video. So you're gonna go to your videos and select the nine by 16 or the TikTok version of a mobile video. And once you've created that, you're going to change your background to whatever color you want. So let's go with the red because that's the one that I like. The next step is to press T for text in order for you to write the text in nice and big. You're going to look for a nice font. So this is nice. The Roxborough CF. We can use this one for that nice top big bold text. Or you could say must have perfumes. Depending on what you're creating this for, you just add that dust be baby. One next step is to head over to your element and search for a silver box. So I went and I typed silver box and I've gone through different kinds of graphics that you could search for and I'll give you the name of the one that I found. This is the one. It's called silver alphabet letter i wow this is the one that worked for me then you're gonna reduce this so that you create the tail or you see it look alike then you create the rest of your image so that you have the repeat and we're gonna do that by pressing out of a rectangle so that you have a, a white receipt you're going to create that. And you're going to nicely align it so that it fits when we are sliding it through our receipt. You can take something like that. Then you're going to look for a barcode. I found this barcode label sticker that's free. You just add it to your design. And you're just recreating what your speed should look like once you've done. And I want to have a website, so I'm going to press T for text. And I'm going to just use a nice aerial font for that. Or a not so hectic font. And then you type your website or where people are going to find this. And then it's time to add your product. You find your product's images and you add them to the invoice and align them nicely. Ooh, I like it. So then you have your barcode, you have your website, where you're sending the PPT, and now you just want to give like a highlight of what you're selling. What I always do is to lock something and then something out of the way, then I like what I want to do. And it then it doesn't touch whatever I lock. The last part of the design is for me to have a cover for your receipt and to have this covered as well. So I'm gonna unlock our silver box so that I have an extra space that I'm going to use, and the extra space is just gonna cover with the receipt is going to come out and then next i'm going to press l for line I'll just move this out of the way so you can see what i'm doing now and i'm going to have this line be where the receipt is going to come out over there so i will zoom in and then change my color to gray that kind of gray and then Make the line a little bit 
picture, something like that, and the end points must be rounded like that. So even darker, it's also fine because this is where the receipt is going to be coming out for. And you're going to put it on a receipt cover or your Tony King cover. But you take something like that and then you're going to go grab your receipt cover and then you release it. So that you can put it just on top of it. And it looks like that. And then we are almost done. We're going to grab our receipt. And we're going to go add it to our top section. Oh, oops. Like that, and then lastly, you want to press R for rectangle, and then you change the color so that it takes that the background, and then you're going to cover this section. And when we're going to our position, bring some passes on top, must have on top as well. It looks like that. Then you click and grab hold of our group. And we select animate and we click create animation. And then we steadily bring down to our little box that comes. Here. We're going to grab hold of it like that and steadily bring it down. Steadily. Awesome. You're going to always make it smooth or steady. And then I see that the line is showing. Then you just make those adjustments. Perfect. Okay. I just like music and sounds. So I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. And then head over to my element and add like a cash receipt sound or some sort of sound that's going to make this sound lovely and I just add it to my design and when I play it, it does the If you want another inspired design, go watch this video for your aid. I will see you with our next video.